So, <coughs> how's it going everyone? Um, I just uh, I'm gonna start this video. This is gonna be about uh, breeding again. Uh, more importantly, how to get a successful uh, hit rate in your early breeding as possible. But I'm gonna start today with uh, just a little mention I, I, uh, about the auction I did previously uh, with, the, with my own boards. Um, and, I, and I did mention in a video that I had such a good time doing it that uh, I, I'd be willing to do it again. Actually, I've been contacted by a couple of people uh, looking for me to do one. So hopefully, I'm going to be involved in a room auction of young boards in, in February at some point, um, and then probably later on in the season as well, a late bread sale, or uh, indeed another person contacted me about uh, doing a round of youngsters off their best performance pigeons in the South of Fed. So, so, uh, so a bit of interest out there. So thanks very much to the of you who have asked me uh, to have a go and, and see how that goes. So I will be doing, so will be doing that uh, if it comes to fruition, which I have no doubt that it will. Um, so secondly, we're going to talk about breeding again. And it's that time of year where we do early breeding. And the biggest problem most fanciers have in early breeding is understanding the breeding cycle of the boards. Um, and how breeding works within pigeons. And really breeding and uh, rearing boards and, and breeding early in bad winter conditions is not about the temperature at all. It's got to do with the light, okay? And the light's what's most important. So <clears throat> if you have a facility where you can get UV lighting, great, that's what you want. If not, I use 100 watt bulbs. 100 watt bulbs keeps the place nice and bright. Uh, uh, I have a timer here, I'll show you just real quick. I have a timer here, it's not, it's not actually on at the moment, it's just, it just happens to be working at the moment for what I do. So I have three plugs because I have, in this loft there are six sections, so there's two sections per plug. Lights, and there's the timing system. That timing system allows me to turn the, turn the, the lights on uh, with, with 15 minutes, so every, every 15 minutes or so. So that, that's good in itself, right? and that's where you need to start, okay? That's your four starting point, if you want to breathe early. And, and some people don't use lights, and they get a good hit rate as well. It all depends. I know with my pigeons and the practice that I've had when I've tried winter breeding uh, without lights, I have gotten hit and miss fertilization. One egg in the nest fertile, the other not. In a lot of cases, that has happened to me in more than one occasion, you know, more than not having two fertile actually. And secondly, then as well as that, you don't get a consistent uh, clutch, meaning that. If you have 20 hens, you may get a week between hens laying, which means your oldest young board is being weaned and your youngest boards are a week later, and therefore the boards and your, your, your clutches get all over the place. And that's just because of the cycle of hens in general. Not all hens work the same way, so it's one of the reasons when I do, between rounds, I take the hens away for two weeks, because I like to keep the clutch together. A nice round is 20 pigeons. Anything more than that is great. If you have bigger numbers, if you facilitate bigger numbers, my young board sections down there, uh, they have purchased for 24 youngsters, so I like about 24 young, 20 youngsters in a round. That's nice for me. That's what I've always worked with. Um, I won't be working with it this year, obviously, but that's that's what I've always worked with up to now. It has worked well for me. So to get myself in gear for early breeding lights, that's that's my number one priority. And the reason for the timing system is because I don't have to worry about lights coming on or off. Some people put the lights on at 12 o'clock at night and leave the boards then through natural daylight. They go off at whatever, 9 o'clock in the morning and then they come on. Yes, Ollie? Okay, I'll be into you in a second. I'm just finished. Um, kids, we still have them. So, some people put the lights on at 12 o'clock at night and leave them on then for natural uh, daylight to stop at whatever, 3 o'clock at the moment it is. And it's now the 20. It's now the 17th or 18th of December, and it's dark by 4 o'clock, so they leave the natural light, and by next week it'll be dark by 3 o'clock on the 20, uh, the 24th or 2nd is the shortest day of the year. So, imperative, up to 16 hours a day of light, you know? Um, and the reason this is not, some people think it's about feeding the youngsters, making sure that there's more day, more light hours for feeding the youngsters, for well raised youngsters, it's not. That, that, that plays a part, but not the biggest part. The biggest part's got to do with the sex organs of the, the boards, the penis and the test sorry, the testicles, not the penis, the testicles and the ovaries of the hen. Uh, so a hen will always lay her eggs. You know, that, that that's a given. She's just gonna lay eggs. It's about the fertilization. So cocks in the winter stop producing sperm. And what brings on their sperm production is the swelling of their testicle. Testicles, testicle, okay? And that only swells 
when it comes in the summertime for breeding purposes and they start producing more sperm again. It's one of the reasons they get ranked when you get into kind of February and they're going mad to get a hen at that point. So lights 16 hours a day will cause the cock's testicles to swell up and start producing sperm again, therefore giving you a better hit rate for fertilization. That's it, it's plain and simple. Uh, most people in winter time are happy for 80% hit rates, 80% fertilization. I have had full 100% fertilization with 30 pair of pigeons here using this system. That's it, lights work. They bring on the, they bring on the sex hormones for cocks and hens perfectly. They bring the hens into breeding condition for laying their eggs. For bringing on. The weather has nothing to do with it, it's the light. And I'll prove to you the weather has nothing to do with it. We all have heard the stories of years gone by. Snow drifts in Belgium. Snow drifts in Europe. And they still breed their pigeons. As normal. It doesn't matter. But it's about the light. The light is key. Well, in my eyes, the light is key. Okay? All animals in nature work to the seasons. And the seasons are about light, not heat. Okay? And the proof of that is, even in further northern areas, we get swans who migrate up north to have their babies from Ireland. They head north, and geese, they head north. So it's got to do with the light, not the temperature, because they're going to a colder climate than they head north. So that's the proof of that, okay? And it is, it's there. So, let's go back and recap on what we have. Firstly, thanks very much about the auction. I'm looking forward to hopefully doing a couple of real auctions in the next few months, absolutely. Uh, and secondly then, for breeding early lights, and it doesn't have to be a permanent lighting system. I have a permanent lighting system in here. Just the way I did it when I built the loft 10 years ago. Just my way. That's all, nothing else. You can have a lamp, as long as it's bright, as long as it's bright enough to light your loft and light where your boards are. That's all that matters. 